Yeah. Oh. Look up to your shoulder. How fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we drove the 442, so the convertible. We were looking for flooring for the bathroom. Oh, Michelle's coming in. Excellent. And it was the top down. It was incredible yesterday. I know. This weekend was beautiful. And then we have today. Yucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the, looking at our neighbor's palm trees too. They're just like really. You know what though? The wind. It's warm outside. Other oh, side. Ooh. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous out. Oh, just windy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been all over the yard already this morning. Seeing it with the raccoon, what damage the raccoons have done. Uh, Good no, morning, I'm, Michelle. I'm pulling the vines out. Oh. Yeah, before the, the land gets tough, Mom, because right now it's been, oh. hopefully it's still soft. Laura's coming in. Laura's coming in. Boy, I'm going to the, today. Yeah, yes. going to the elbow. We'll Laura. see if Tracy comes in. We're going to go up to the shoulder. Okay, let's gather our, <clears throat> our energy here. Good breaths, good positive vibes. Woohoo! And then we'll go back in the hands, open it up. Remember, this swirl right here op starts opening up those joints too. So we're opening those up. And the rubbing back and forth will help with inflammation, get the get stuff moving out of the fingers. Yeah, because my hands hurt from pulling things yesterday. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I propped up the uh, pump house. It's straight. Oh good. Oh. Good. <laughs> Especially with the wind, that's good that it's not sideways. Yeah. <laughs> Thumb, pointer finger, squeeze, pointer finger, middle. Squeeze. That'll help open up those hands. Anybody else work in the yard? It is, this will open it up for you or doing some housework. That will help too. Ring and pinky. Thumb and pointer. Pointer and middle. Ooh. I felt good. Oh, that was painful. <laughs> My middle finger is like, ow. That's good stuff. Move it. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Good morning. Okay. Breathe in. We're getting, getting everything moving here. Okay. So I said we're working lungs today. I'm so excited. My lungs were wheezing. Um, this morning, I'm like, because we have some dust going on with our, let's go to the foot, let's start scribbling. We have dust going on in our room. We're covering stuff, but overall, it's really hard to keep control of the dust because we have the, we're remodeling the bathroom. Um, Our bathroom? The master bathroom. Mm -hmm. Like, to it's total gutted. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, and then Rick is coming in and doing the the thing that he does. You know, the he just does great stuff. He knows how to do bathrooms really well. So our friend is there working on that. But so it's making my lungs wheeze. And then also mold around, you know, during the, maybe it's going to dry because it's been so warm. But in the wintertime, the mold really affects stuff and I drink hot water and all that kind of and with the herbs and all that and it helps relieve and keep opening things up but with the active mold around um, I still have flow going and it's been sitting more in my lungs and so this will be good so think about what you have going on and what you want to open up think about the the circulation and how the lungs are part of the whole cardiovascular system. So we're gonna to stretch the toes. You got your foot on the ground. We're gonna stretch the toes, <coughs> stretch. Mm. 
Nice. Give a shake. Just getting that circulation going. Notice where the right foot is already going. Since you've just started moving things around, opening your whole foot, it should even feel more open. And we don't always feel it, but check in, see how it feels. Let's go into that left side. My feet hurt. This feels good. They're sore mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah. Feels I'm good. Glad that we're able to open it up. Yep. I feel soreness also. Give yourself opportunity to keep bringing in the rebalance. I never think of things as balance because, you know, that's kind of a extreme, meaning that life, we always have to find balance, 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 like it should be. The thing is, is that there's always shifts. Let's go into the toes and stretch. There are always shifts going on in life. So we're always, you know, looking at rebalancing where it feels good for right now to rebalance. Because sometimes our nerves and stuff, we can handle a slight rebalance. And sometimes we can really bring it into Zen. And that makes us feel really good. So we have all different levels of what balance means. Okay, you keep this ball by you because we're going to rinse it. But I'm going to bring this down so you can see. Let's get the needling ball and make sure you have water with you because the, you know, we open these special parts up when we really focus in on an area. You're going to have some wonderful things happen this week. The water will help so you can let things flow and get out of your body. So um, with this, I want to show you what spot we're talking about here. So we were on the kidneys last week. And so that was in the right at the beginning of um, our going into the instep of our foot. And it's kind of in the center. So now with the lungs, we're going to go straight across more on the inside of the foot. So until you hit that bone and then do one little step forward. So you're not going all, you are not going all the way to the ball of the foot where all the joints are, your knuckles there. You're going to go right in the middle of that. So we were here on the kidneys. You're gonna go all the way till you hit the bone and then one step forward, not all the way to the ball of the foot. Like kind of right in the middle of between where we were to the ball of the foot, so right center. That's your lung spot. So you're gonna put it on the ground. And if you get close, that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect. So don't get like, you know, worked up. That's to be an exact spot. So get your heel on the ground, go to the, to the spot. We were working the kidneys, go all the way across till you hit the bone. Make sure you're still in the soft tissue though, not directly on the bone. Then roll it just a little bit, just to roll it, get it closer to the, pinky knuckle ball of the foot and then press down and hold. Does anybody have questions in that spot or do you kind of get the gist of that? Cause we'll get that area. Breathe in, open it up. Now you're going to release, but don't release the ball. Keep it in that spot. Now we're going to gently press on it. Now start off gently. Now think about this. I'm going to bring up Estelle's name again, but you know, if you were with a reflexologist, if you've been with Estelle before, you know she's going to go in and she wants to needle it. So with this ball, you're going to press in, you're going to hold. Now think about what you want from your lungs. You want them to feel good. You want things to move. So push down a little bit deeper and deeper. Now there you are. Now pick up the heel and do your little circle, 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 circle needling like Estelle would with her thumb. She do this and just really work it. That's what you want, that little ball. Hold on to something if you want. If you can balance in this spot, then get yourself into a balanced space and then circle, circle. And okay, so I didn't feel that much until I started circling and moving things around. So the wheezing I have, is 
that's going in my foot, that connection there, that reflexology point is telling me, mm, my lungs are dealing with some things, but it's not extremely sore. So get in there if you feel like for our kidneys, my kidneys, I could feel it. I could really, really feel it. So now I can feel it as we're circling. So there's different levels you're gonna feel depending on the organ we work. Now we're gonna scribble, like move that stuff around, go where your lung spot is to move things and go all over the foot. Really get that exhale, relaxed space all around the foot. Now, one thing we haven't done with the needle ball is stretch the toes. It'll feel really good. So let's get in there. Let's get the whole foot. And now we're going to get the big toe and we're going to stretch. You're going to notice if it's smaller and tighter, you get a little bit more of a stretch there. Now let's go through all the toes and push forward, push forward. This is so good, it lengthens the toes, opens things up, let's shake it. Okay, so we're going where we started with the kidneys. And now we're gonna go inside, so we're just rolling it. So we're by the bone, but not on the bone, and just roll it like about halfway so you're not getting into the knuckle of the pinky you're before that and not real close, you're in between from where we rolled and you did a little roll inside. Now we're gonna press down and hold. Lift up, take a breath in and press down and hold. Now up and down. Go in there as deep as you can, as much as you are allowed to. Sometimes it's like, okay, that's as far as I can go. Do you ever hear that saying, like, it hurts so good? That, that good feeling is that you're helping things heal in the lungs by adding this and, and releasing some of that stress in the lungs. So now we're going to bring the whole foot up. And we're going to do the needling circle, 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 circle. Okay, so my right foot was hurting more. So my, I can tell that my right lung is having a little bit more going on than my left lung. So think about that way too. I'm giving you some tools to start thinking about your whole body, but also components of your body. Because when we work the lungs, we're taking care also of the thyroid and the heart. A lot of partnership there in those areas. And scribble going all the way through. And most of the time when we do stuff, ladies, think, think about this also. Usually my left foot has more going on than my right. But today when we went in there specifically for the lung, that right side lung, I could feel it more as we were needling it. Now we're gonna go in and stretch the toes. And related, if I compared it to last week, I could really feel my kidneys. For the lungs, I could feel it, but it wasn't as sensitive. So it gives you opportunity. And anytime you wanna share with me if, if we're doing coaching, we can make sure you're fully connected with how to take care of that area even more besides the workouts. Okay, and I've been, I've been in our time together, I've been giving you 
at a macro level how you can do that. So you're gonna get on your right foot and rinse with your bigger, softer ball. So you're gonna rinse. Because here I can share with you ideas of foods and lifestyle, but when it's connected specifically to you and your journey, make sure you're bringing them into the coaching calls. Okay, we're gonna go to that left side. As you're rinsing, looking at what you want out of this, make sure that moves. So the kidneys and the liver and the skin will take some of the toxins out that were sitting there. Then the cleansing ducts for the lungs is going to get opened up even more today than what you have been doing. You're gonna get some water. You should feel maybe, uh, I'm expecting a little bit more thirst in your body in your mouth so make sure you get some water and then get on your roller and you know as you approach your time on the roller give yourself the meaning what you want out of the roller That's nurturing your entire body. And if you're on the floor, then you're going to connect with the floor. And you're, we're going, everybody, we're going right into the nervous system. So when you're going down to the floor, every time you get down there, allow your body to shh, like let go. Check in on your lower back, around your natural S curvature, right above the arch in your back and right below. Check in, relax, open it up. Open up the spine, think about 32 vertebrae, expanding, opening, massage, shoulder, hip, you're on the floor, you're rocking side to side with your roller, allow it to glide. Bring it back center and hold. Now think about the entire body and the circulation. Allow your mind to go there. Any extra aches and pains that you woke up the, with this morning or you had it or it's been around for a while. Let your mind get in there and your spirit, the vision that you want of your body. Keep giving yourself the space to create. How would your day be if you were able to release a pain or pains that are happening in a certain area of your body? But give yourself a moment. Breathe into it, put light into it, and speak to it, release. Release. Shh. 
slowly coming off the roller and head onto your roller now. Lengthen through the neck. The neck pain comes in many forms. Be careful as you lengthen your legs. Want to check in on the top part of the hip. Make sure it's not pinching that lower back. Let the stomach even out the hips so the hips feel like they're more parallel with the ground instead of hyper extended up where the top of the hip can lift more towards the ceiling. Make sure that's not happening. Press it down. Hands on the end cap of the roller. Now bend your legs, feet on the ground. Right leg come over the left. <clears throat> Keep holding onto the roller. We're gonna stretch from your wrist to your shoulder, pectoral, all the way across to the hip. And then we're going to do like a runner stretch. So we've got the right leg over the left. Keep it there for two stretches. We're going to drop to the right. And notice how that feels all around under the underarm, the attachments all around there, the front shoulder. If you're real tight in the forearm, you're going to feel a stretch there. Still working on holding the roller. And that doesn't always work for us. Sometimes we're very tight up on the upper body. So give yourself a moment to sit into that stretch deeper. Stomach supporting the, by, the back, the spine. Gently bring both legs up, still the right leg over the left. Now drop to the left with the right leg still over the left. And that will give you a stretch more in the pectoral, Attachment right under the armpit, right shoulder, and you're still trying to hold with the right hand holding the roller. And gently come up, uncross, cross the other leg, left leg, drop to the left. So we're back in there, stretching that upper right side, coming all the way through to the front of the hip. If you're real tight in that right front of the hip, you're in a fabulous stretch here. All the circulation. Now remember we're partnering with the heart, the lungs, and the thyroid, and the, all that flow, help and open up all through the body because everything partners, nothing's alone. Same thing in our community. With that focus, you'll notice how it connects in everything in your life. And you start thinking about if you ever feel alone or feel stressed, that you're never alone. Keep summoning in the energy of partnership that'll help your body. So you don't feel your body is one thing or one spot with an ache. Gently bring it up and drop to the right side. Still keeping the left leg over the right. Where you are tight, you're going to find it. So maybe. In the back of the hip, you feel the stretch. It may be the shoulders, around the underarm, around the forearm, still trying to hold that roller. And gently bring it up. Uncross into your child pose. 
So forehead is going to be on the roller. Now, anytime you have a headache and it's right in the front, I want you to use the roller because you can get some really good space here and not just use your hands. The roller will, will really save your head and your pain. So anytime you have pain in different parts of your head, it will take care of it because the roller can hold so much space. So now that the roller is in the center of the forehead, that is where we're bringing peace into our creative space. That third eye, which is your forehead, that's where we bring in a lot of creativity into our life. This is the meridian point for your entire intestine. Up above is more of your large intestine. And as you go down towards the eyebrow, it's your smaller intestine. Gently massage the forehead side to side. So you're going pretty close to the temple. Bring it back center and hold through the center of the spine, right there. Bring it to where your mindset, bring it to where your waistline is. From the waistline, come into the spine, hold it right there in the center. Breathe into it. Release the exhale, relax the shoulders, the hips, relax your neck. Now from your spine, we're going to go from that center space of focus and expand out. So we're going to bring the energy down to the tailbone, energy up through to right under the head to where the neck vertebrae connects and as if you're washing it and rinsing it with water you're going to swish back and forth like a maestro a person conducting music you're going to have water come from your tailbone to your neck and bring it back into the center focal let the water push from the center of the spine push it out to the tailbone to the top of the neck and let it swish 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 Swish, swish, swish. Now you're in the entire spine from tailbone all the way up. You can see the vision to the neck. Inhale, keep your focus on the entire spine. As you exhale, release and push it out to the outside of the body. Whish. Bring energy from the outside of the body to the spine. Inhale. Come on, let's release some of the pain, some of the flow that needs to be enhanced in all our organs, all the way through our body. Do a big exhale and swish out from the spine to the outside of the body. Exhale. Now, it's not just the outside of your body because those are just cells. Our body's not solid to where nothing can get in there. So your next time, we're going to expel everything outside the body. So we're going to bring it into the spine. Inhale. Now think about the water expanding from your spine, from the tailbone to the top of the neck, and push it out of the body. Here we go. Shh. Gently take your head off the roller, hands under, downward dog, toes under, and lift yourself up. Give your whole backside a stretch. Walk your hands to your toes, gently roll it up, 
check in. Be careful that you don't get dizzy. Coming up real quick. Come to your center spot and give yourself a recognition, a recognition of any balance that happened, any relief, and anybody can speak to it if you're feeling like you want to add in any experience you had today. Ready to go. Woohoo! Sun salutation. Seal salutation, ready to go. Mm. Namaste. Great day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Mm, that's right. Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> that's all good. Get me moving. Yeah, enjoy your day. Well, great thanks, day. ladies. You guys Thank have you. a good day. Have a good day. Yep. Yeah, have a we'll great see one. You tomorrow. Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. I'm going to go Bye. back outside. Yes, sounds good. Bye. Bye.